Guys, let's look at how you can come up with a daily farmers management system. So, as usual, we shall start by a demonstration. So, I open the system. This is the splash form. Uh, the splash form roads. Then, once the splash form roads, you go to the login window. So, in the login window, you key in your, your password and username. So, here you will see that uh, I have been logged in as Don. Then from there, we have week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So I can start by operating on week one. When I'm in week one, I can feed details for uh, these guys here. Right now, I can just feed the number of liters this person have, has brought. So you will no notice that the amount of money increases. The return is the amount of money that will be paid per liter. So this is for week one for these guys. So as you see, this brought 10. But when you see now the cash is increasing. So depending on the sales, the company might opt to change the return. Then we can go to week two. Then we can give more. You see the cash will increase as we do week two for these guys like that let's see that one so after doing that you can uh, opt to add a farmer like now register a new farmer so add a new like for example i may add a new farmer here customer we can just have somewhere the true then telephone number just guess one location uh, random then next of king james this the year and the month will automatically be captured so i save the record and cross so here i press f5 on the keyboard you see this guy has been added here so i can also opt to do his returns here then i want to pay him with 40 pounds so this is whatever i have to pay for him so after doing that i need to produce a receipt so i can just click the first guy then click on the receipt so this is the receipt for this guy and the amount of money he is supposed to be paid for that juncture. Then on the other hand, you can also opt to hide the ribbon by clicking on it or double clicking to unhide the ribbon. That is, we are talking about this stuff here. That is the one. So I hide the ribbon. My system in that point looks like you can see. So you continue with the week three. Uh, week four, week five, then uh, you'll be in a position to have completed the month of January and then produce the receipt showing the amount of money and also the amount of returns this person delivered to Dairy Farmers Cooperative Society. So after doing that, uh, you can also do to set the months, like you can set the month to the month of February by clicking on it, then run the update query. Then after doing that, you click that one. Then uh, save the record. You see now, after having done this one, you just go to this point here. Then you just go back here. So I set the month to February. After uh, doing that, realize that our system has been set to February uh, you can also make sure that you also feed the year in advance so guys I will be doing this from scratch and take you through step by step until we finish the system guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe and also remember to share my videos with your friends thank you very much